Number 10 uh, says Kara spent half her allowance on Saturday and one third of what she had left on Sunday. Uh, can this situation uh, be modeled by one half minus one third? Why, why not? Um, it will not be in this case. Um, let's just say she had 30 bucks, just for example. And uh, she spent half of that. So she spent half of 30. Which is 15. So she had 15 left. And then it says she spent a third of what she had left. So she spent a third. One third of this. 15 which is not the same as just saying one third okay, or just minus a half so depending on what the dollar amount is a half is going to be different depending on how much money we have and that's also going to be different for a third so in this case if we spent 30 we would do 15 minus 5 and that would give her 10 10 dollars left if that was the case um, but just subtracting one half and one third is not going to do the same thing. Uh, it's not going to be one third of what she has left and a half of what she had. <clears throat> so, um, no, because she spent one third of her remaining half on Saturday. This is modeled by one third times a half. So she had one half minus that. So she actually spent a sixth of what she had overall this would be the better way to represent that okay so this one wants us to watch a video and then answer the question uh, use a number line to subtract <clears throat> two and two fifths from uh, two and two fifths subtract three fifths okay. <clears throat> so we can probably model this without the video Say a number line, we're going to put it into fives. So this is zero. One, two, three, four, five. So be one. And then one, two, three, four, five. This will be two. One. Okay, <clears throat> so we have two and two fifths. We're here. And then we're going to subtract three fifths. So we're going to go back one two three and so we would be here this represents one and one two three four fifths one and four fifths so you just break the number line down into uh, the number of parts uh, as your denominator and then do the math so <clears throat> we can subtract it that way as a expression we can have uh, Write it up here, 2 and 2 over 5 minus 3 fifths equals this sum blank. And then we can look at adding. So do the opposite to move this over. So something plus 3 fifths. We just move that over here. Change signs. So we can say something plus 3 fifths also equals 2 and 2 fifths. <coughs> So I want to pick which one is going to match. Uh, so we can have two and two fifths plus something. Nope. We can have negative three fifths plus something. Nope. It'll be adding three fifths. Uh, C says two and two fifths plus something equals negative. Nope. And this one says three fifths, which is what we have here, plus some unknown equals two and two fifths so D would match 